Good morning. Good morning. So we are now on a bus to Hersek Novi. We were in a little bit of a rush to get here, but we're on the bus. Excited. Early in the morning. <laughs> Let's check out this town, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's only about like a 36 minute ride, so. Nice and chill, nice yeah. and chill. And it's gonna be a beautiful view. Yeah. got about seven hours here and it's really nice already we came in and we walked through i think part of the old town uh, uh not yet not yet yeah, but we're right we're next really to close it. to it yeah so for example we are just just outside of the old town past these walls here that's the old town up in there uh, this old town's gonna be pretty cool because it looks like it's um, very elevated and so we yeah. might have a lot of verticality when we get in there everything's gonna yeah. be on slopes and stuff maybe might have a nice view of the water and that's where we're headed now. We're headed down to the water. We're both a little car sick from the bus because yeah. we ended up chatting with the lady behind us the whole ride. And so and our so stomachs we're are like looking back. And so our stomachs were all twisted up, and yeah. we're going like sharp, high speed turns and up and down and yeah. bumps and and it so. It was definitely like a yeah a nice wild ride over here. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, it ended up taking about an hour instead of thirty minutes, I think. Um, but I mean, it was yeah. it went by really quickly. The views were amazing. Went all around the bay, mm -hmm. um, so we were like constantly facing the water. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go head down to the water to like get some fresh air and. And also, we still need to have breakfast. So yeah, we're and we're gonna food. get breakfast. Let's so, do it. Yeah. breakfast has arrived. Nick got a pizza. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a Mediterranean pizza. It looks it really looks good. so good. Yeah, <laughs> we're oh really hungry. God. And I got um, pancakes, but they're savory. So this has prosciutto, uh, cheese, and sour cream. So it's good. So breakfast was delicious. Uh, we just went for a swim here in the beach and laid out in the sun for a little bit. And now we are on our way to explore some of the old town. Uh, for a second, no, we forgot where we were for a second. Um, so the old town here is known for having a lot of steps, maybe even more than Belgrade. <laughs> so let's go check it out. Coffee in Europe. They said it couldn't be done. They said it couldn't be done. <laughs> yeah. So we got this at a place called Cafeteria. That's their logo. And it's a very common uh, coffee chain. Uh, I would say it's very, it's like their version of Starbucks here, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe. It, it is, it's kind of like a third wave coffee shop though. Like it's, it looks like an independent shop, but it is a chain. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we've seen it all over the place. Yeah. We've seen it um, in all the places we've been to so far. Yeah, but, uh, I think this is the only coffee shop we've seen that has iced coffee and coffee to go. Yeah. So we yeah. got an iced coffee to go. And it tastes amazing. Yeah. It's an iced, uh, iced latte yeah. with um, chocolate chip cookie syrup. Yeah, it's really good. And it's just like Rylan <laughs> took a sip and she's like, Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm thinking the same thing. It's 
She better get some quick before I finish it. Yeah, I know. We're gonna go walk around Old Town, get some coffee. Seems kind of quiet, but we just came across this square, and what a beautiful church! Very nice. All right, so first impressions of Herceg Novi. Uh, definitely a lot more verticality. Yep. We're on some stairs right now. If I just show you, and it yeah. takes you just keep going and going and going from the beach all the way up yeah. the hill. Um, but it's beautiful. Um, I think the infrastructure here is a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, it's more organized. Like it's easier. Like if you want to get to a certain direction, there's a pretty clear path there. Yeah. Whereas the town we're staying, Dubroda, um, you'll get these similar staircases, but then they stop abruptly and it's like a bunch of neighborhood houses and you can't go any further. And so the only real way to get uphill is to take all the main streets, but it means that you're going to have to like find the intersection where the streets connect, which can be like a 10 minute walk away. Yeah. Whereas here, there's staircases running all the way up and down every block or so. And so it's very easy to go in all four directions, like north, south, east, west. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the old town is really nice, much more chill and like laid back versus Koto, I would say. Like it's a little right. quieter, less touristy. Um, but I, I like know. that. I yeah, like it's that. really, really nice. Yeah. Um, very beautiful, yeah. smaller old town, um, but still very pretty. And it's kind of like more elevated, and so you can kind of see things over the walls. So that's very pretty. Yeah. Um, the surrounding mountains are shorter here because we're closer to the Adriatic Sea. Like we're closer to the mouth of the bay. Yeah. Um, but it's just like I love the construction of everything. How everything's put together in this town. It's much yeah. prettier, in my opinion. We also we climbed up to the fortress that you could see from the beach we were swimming at, um, and it was a really nice view. But to enter the actual fortress to like look out over the water, it was like four euro per person. To us, it's not really worth it because you can walk like five more feet and then there's like the same exact view. And we've seen like a hundred fortresses by now, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We were still able to like climb up it and like look inside. Yeah. But um, yeah, we didn't think to see that. Um, yeah, there's a beautiful church right in the center square of the old town, which is really nice. Yeah. And it had some like church gift shops around it. Um, but yeah, we had to stop to get some sunscreen because the sun here is no joke. Look at Nick, he looks like a different race right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I tan really easily, really well, really yeah. fast. And so I go from like kind of greenish pale white to uh, this nice golden toasted brown very quickly. <laughs> I know, and I burn, so good thing yeah. we got some sunscreen. <laughs> yeah, you started burning um, after our, our little our beach swim. time, so yeah. we got you some sunscreen and hopefully we won't burn much more. Yeah, probably. so our plan from here is uh, we've looked around Herceg Novi, we've seen the old town and we are currently going back down to the coast. <clears throat> We're gonna walk around there a little bit and then we are gonna head on a boat to go to Rosa, which is the town across the bay from here. Uh, that town we were recommended to see by our friend Sonia in Belgrade. So thank you, Sonia. Can't wait yeah. to see it. We're really excited. <laughs> that was a bug. Um, <laughs> we're really excited. And yeah, let's head down to the water. Okay, 
Okay, so allegedly <laughs> this boat goes to Rosa. <laughs> so this is hopefully what we're taking to get there. Uh, it's seven euros per person round trip. And it goes back and forth like once an hour or something. Yeah, well, it's only there's only one trip today. It leaves at 1.30, comes back at 3. Yeah. So the captain isn't here yet, but it's we're supposed to get it. <laughs> Yeah, He's supposed we'll, we'll to leave in, in five minutes. We'll confirm with him whenever he gets here, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So. Talk about close calls.